this short because I'm trying to experiment with different hairstyles. Well, it's tied up at the back. Yeah! Enough about my hair. We are going to get started on May favorites. Let us go on. First favorite, it is right back here. My perfume. I've actually used this a while ago, but then I stopped and I used the daisy one that's right behind me. But then I came back to this one because why not? Let's just try it again. And I'm loving the smell I guess. It is the Chanel number five. Wade toilet 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 wade toilet toilet something like that. What it looks like it is the 3.4 fluid ounces, the 100 milliliters, and this is the front. It's very basic, but it smells so good. <laughs> I think I've gotten in my mouth. Okay. <laughs> oh. When those perfume that doesn't smell very perfumey, they smell very fresh, they smell very new. I don't know, it's a very good perfumey smell. Even after the whole day of going out, doing stuff, running errands, and then I come back, I take a shower, and in the shower, I can still smell it. I can still smell it. Like, I can still smell this, and I'm just like, whoa, it lasts that long? It smells fantastic, so. Oh, someone just honked. My eyebrows are just a pain. The eyebrows is next to the eyeliner. The two most things I can F up on my face, because they stress me out so much. Those two are the most dreaded parts I hate. But yeah, I still love when I do it nicely. So for my October favorites, I did mention the Face Shop Design My Brows pencil that I use for my eyebrows. Focus. Now I know why people do this with their product because it makes it focus more. So the more you know. This, this is my second tube and I wanted to try something different and new to my brows. So this is the eyebrow pencil from Joe Fresh. It has one side that is the pencil and then the other side it is the tip right over here this is actually what's on my brows right now i'm still trying to get the hang of making my brows look related or somewhat related i'm just so stressed out every time i do my brows it runs very smoothly but it does rub off after a while face shop is probably more of my favorite based on color wise but this one here for longevity and just staying on my brows this would probably be more preferred for me, but it depends. For my next favorite, it is the eyeshadows. And it's more specifically two eyeshadows from this palette. It is my Naked 2 Urban Decay palette. I am referring to these two eyeshadows. They're both shimmer. This is more of a beige peach, light beige peach shimmer, and it's called Booty Call. And the second one, it's more of a rose gold shimmer. And that one is called Chopper right there. Every time I pick up the palette, I always fall in love with Chopper. I don't know why, it's just such a nice rose gold shimmer. Perfect for the lids. And I just blended it out. I didn't have any crease shadow. I just had that because I was lazy today. And Booty Call, I usually will only put that on the brow area and on the inner corners. And I just... I love these two. These two are such a nice shimmer. It's as a gift, like five years ago, and um, the black actually fell out. The, whole, like, the actual paint itself fell out, and I'm just like, oh, it's so sad. This is probably one of my favorite palettes next to the Morphe one that I always use. Next favorite on my eyes, it is my lashes, and more specifically, Kiss number no. three lashes. As you can tell, this is the five pack, and I am almost done. My eye lashes. Oh, shoot. These lashes are very natural to me at least because I've tried the other lashes from Ardell. A lot of the ones actually from Ardell. The popular one is Demi Wispies. Personally, I don't really like that one because it doesn't fit my Asian eyes and I've given it a try a few times. It looks beautiful on other people but for me, I just didn't feel it. I'm the brand by Kiss. This is what the lashes looks like and this is beautiful. If you're looking for more natural lashes that's not heavy at all on you and it's very comfortable, it wears all day, this I would recommend this very much. For number three, it is full all around the lid, but for number two, I've used it. I wasn't feeling it too much after discovering number three. So these two were my previous history. And now my ultimate favorite is probably Kiss number three for the lighter, more natural looks. So moving down from the eyes to the lips, it is what I'm wearing on my lips right now. And it is Annabelle number 205 Cherry. This was actually placed by someone on the sale rack, being a stupid stuff that I am. 
and I didn't check the price. I just hurried to purchase, and when I got home, I looked at the list. Why does it cost $10 for a freaking lip liner? <sighs> I need to return this stuff. Stupid. I didn't buy it, I couldn't return it, so I told myself I am going to use the crap out of this $10 lip liner. I like it. It's very smooth. It does last depending how often you eat during the day. That's why this is in this month's favorite. Because of a stupid spontaneous purchase, never checking the price, being stupid me, purchase this liner. But anyway, I'm gonna make it worth money, so this is what it gets. And next up on my lips, it is the NYX Soft Matte Lip Cream. Besides wearing the lip liner, I've been wearing these two together. On its own, it's amazing. But for myself, personally, this is a little bit too pink and a little bit too vibrant for my taste. So I darken it a little bit with this. Um, the Monte Carlo, it's a nice red that if you just want to go out and, you know, be a little bit bold on the lips, I would definitely try this one now. That's why I love mixing these two just to create a nice balance between the two colors. And I love wearing these. I love the feeling of it on the lips. It's very soft, very creamy. Probably will purchase more, so give it a try for NYX. I just love it. From my lips to my face area, it is the contour slash bronzing slash highlighting palette from Smashbox. So this is the palette that I am referring to. This is the contour, this middle one is the bronzer, and this one here is the highlight. I mainly use these two. With that, I use the MAC 143. To be honest, I don't really know how to contour my face. I'm an amateur of contouring, so my, my philosophy on amateur contouring is that as long as you don't see a big fat blob on your face on the side, you're good. All right, so for my last beauty favorite, it is the water makeup remover, or specifically these two right here. Um, I've been using almost, I'm trying to finish out the Garnier one, and before I've been constantly using this one, the Bioderma. I think I like this one more just because of the pump. If you don't mind, you know, taking the cap off, oh, taking the cap off and then just putting in the, you know, cotton pads and then pushing your face, you're all good. I personally prefer the pump just because it's, it's, it makes it a little bit more convenient for you to use one hand instead of using two hands, and you know, it's a small, it's a small world problem. I personally prefer the Bioderma over the Garnier one, but for the price-wise, this is about ten dollars. This is about twenty dollars, so it's double the price of the Garnier one. So if you're wanting a cheaper version, Garnier one works just fine. I just use a little bit more product in this one to remove heavier makeup. There is a blue and a pink one. The pink one it is for just regular makeup. I think the blue one it is for waterproof makeup. So that's a difference there. I never knew what the difference was. I thought it was for a different type of skin, but no, it's for waterproof or for normal makeup if you don't have waterproof makeup. It works. Like for $10, can't beat the price. Um, I've used other makeup removers, but they're very oily on my skin. I've used the Neutrogena makeup remover but I com I did not like that one that one's way too oily on my skin I didn't like it it burns my eyes but for this one it feels just like water and it works great for ten dollars I love it I've had this for about a month and a half or about two months and I've just passed halfway mark I'm almost done I'm trying to finish this off so I feel a sense of accomplishment that I bought my money and it's worth it you have the other one it is the buyer Bioderma and as you can tell I am almost done and FYI I did make a purchase of the second one so you can tell I like the product. It washes off your makeup just like water but it's not really water. Definitely check this out or if you want a cheaper version check out the Garnier one it works just fine as well. So for my next favorite it is these earrings right here. There's just feathers and beads and a little diamond in the center and it's very dangly. Um, I know chokers are coming back. I love dangly earrings. It makes you look a little bit more put together than you actually am. It makes you feel like ready to do a tangle. So for my music favorites for the past month, I've been listening to a few songs. Toothbrush by DNC. Ugh, Joe Jonas. Jonas Brothers. Who remember the Jonas Brothers? I do because they were amazing! They were my, like, board crush in elementary school. Next song I've been listening to it is Just Like Fire by Pink. Oh, I love that music video. And then, last favorite, it is Seven Years, but it is the rewrite cover version by Leah Guess. And I love her. Her version is fantastic. Love the lyrics to it. My hair is in the way. Wow. I think that's it for my favorite. If you guys enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you guys want to see more of me face, um, definitely subscribe down below. I will see you later.